Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. Right into the news, put crypto regulation in the proper perspective, states the Ripple CEO. Brad Garlinghouse said that the crypto industry is performing well despite recent challenges. The Ripple CEO asked for a proper distinction between crypto problems and fraud. Garlinghouse praised the UAE for a leading role in crypto regulatory advancement. Also, too, Deaton explains how Judge Torres could grant Ripple an outright win. We're going to scroll down and get into this for a moment because I think it's good, uh, you know, to hear this and see this. Uh, stating yesterday, an XRP fan with the username at JV the Great led those who believed Ripple would lose, claiming in a Twitter thread that Ripple's XRP transactions are securities. He expressed confidence that Ripple would lose because the blockchain company did not put up a good argument against anything but the blue sky laws. Now, attorney Deaton thinks otherwise, and that's where we want to get into. John, uh, Attorney Johnny Deaton posted, uh, here's how the judge could give a Ripple an outright win. People are focused on the pre-1933 blue sky argument. That argument is for the second court and the Supreme Court. I don't believe Judge Torres agrees with that argument, although the current Supreme Court could. And then the article is a really good article here as well at thecryptobasic.com stating the reason behind Deaton's prediction. According to Deaton, Judge Torres could get around Ripple's XRP cells since the SEC did not apply the Howey test to every transaction. Instead, the regulator claimed that XRP itself is a security. Essentially, the SEC is applying the old but for causation test in this case, and the SEC essentially argues but for Ripple executives, Jed and Chris, creating XRP, XRP wouldn't exist. But for Ripple helping create a secondary market for XRP, and a secondary market wouldn't exist, said Attorney Deaton. So the SEC argues the past and present XRP sales are securities, the regulator argues, that countries outside of the U.S. can only declare XRP as a currency due to Ripple's efforts, Deaton said, adding. Deaton asserted that Judge Torres could grant Ripple an outright win by rejecting the SEC's sweeping claims on the ground that the regulator did not prove a specific transaction. Stating, in other words, if El Salvador would have made XRP legal tender like it did with BTC, the SEC is claiming it would all be due to Ripple's past, present, and future efforts. It is an extraordinarily all-encompassing theory, but that's not how securities laws get applied, Attorney John Deaton stated. And also, too, going back to what uh, you know John said about the uh, you know. Um, U.S. declaring XRP as a currency due to Ripple's efforts, Deaton said, adding. Now, if we go into that, you have to think back to what Brad Garlinghouse stated, that outside of the USA is 95% of their business. And also, too, outside of the USA, no one cares about the SEC. And again, I believe it will be a very positive outcome and very, very soon. Next article, Ripple XRP market cap crosses the 20 billion amid the 400 million USD market wide liquidation for short sellers. This is something too that we shared earlier. We shared a clip from one of the exchanges showing that XRP had already crossed over 20 billion USD market share. As well, Stellar joins CFTC's global markets advisory committee as one of four crypto organizations and we had shared that yesterday and uh stellar ceo Danell dixon was very excited about that as well so stellar chief operating officer jason uh chilipada said the foundation would bring the unique perspective of layer one to the committee and highlight stablecoin uses the sdf has become the newest member of the usc f TC. So the CFTC Global Markets Advisory Committee, GMAC, the blockchain announced on this blog. The committee is preparing to meet on February 13th for the first time in over the year. And the SDF supports the Stellar blockchain, which is used for crypto fiat transfers. The foundation will be represented on the committee by Chief Operating Officer Jason Chilapela, which he wrote, and the company blog that we hope to bring the unique perspective of layer one protocols to the GMAC.
And as part of the committee, SDF will highlight the role of stablecoins in the digital asset markets and real-world use cases, including leveraging stablecoins in the delivery of humanitarian aid. And again, that's something that they also did recently with humanitarian aid over in Ukraine. Quick update too, U.S. government seized 700 million USD in assets from disgraced FTX co-founder Sam Bankman fried And also too, a major discussion recently was Nexo pays 45 million USD in penalties and settles with the U.S. authorities. This was a discussion also too on Twitter recently between a lot of the XRP community because as with Ripple, they've taken quite a few years and this was something that Nexo settled right away, over and done. Everyone had moved on. Guys, remember, this is not financial advice. It's for entertainment purposes only. And as always, before we go, I'm going to leave you with a final thought. Do it because they said you couldn't. Much love, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. 